Welcome back. This is Sarah. Today, I have a brand new Yummy Nummies kit. This one is called the Cake Push Pops Maker. This kit makes up to eight cake push pops. You don't need an oven or stove, but you will need a microwave. Look at how beautiful these are. I've never made cake push pops before, so I'm actually really excited to try out this kit. Now, I found this kit at Target. They were selling it for about $10. Let's open it up and see what they've included inside. So, the first item is this plastic tray. We get three different packets. This orange one is for cake batter. The purple one is for pink frosting and the blue one is for blue frosting. We're also given a scoop and a mixing spoon. Two of these plastic bags we'll be using for the frosting. Three of these plastic push pop containers. These are so unique. Aren't these awesome? Let me show you that each one does come with a little lid on top so it's easy to store. Look at that little push pop thing there. And the lid just pops right on off. Super cute. Lastly, we're also given instructions, and these are, of course, super easy to follow, like all the other Yummy Yummies kits. All right, guys, let's get started and make some adorable cake push pops. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut our tray into two pieces, just like this. Then I'm gonna open up our cake batter packet. And I'm going to put four round scoops of this powder mixture into tray number one. I'm also going to add two square scoops of water to our tray number one. I'm going to mix everything really well until it becomes a cake-like batter. Then I'm going to divide the batter into these three little holes. These are then going to be cooked in my microwave for 15 seconds. Before we put these in the microwave, you're going to want to make sure that every one of these is flat so it comes out like a little cute cake. Okay, this is what it looks like when it's been cooked in the microwave. I just need to set this to the side for it to cool for just a couple of minutes. In the meantime, let's make some of the frosting. I'm going to make the blue one first. Just like the cake batter, I'm going to put in four scoops of the frosting mix into tray number two. Then I'm also going to add two square scoops of water. I'm going to mix it up really, really well until it starts to look like frosting. Now at first, it's gonna be a little bit watery, but as it sets, it definitely gets firmer. Now I'm gonna scoop all of my frosting and put it into one of the frosting bags. Before I can use it, I just need to clip off the tip of it, and now it's ready to go. Let's form some of our cake push pops. Okay, we're gonna take out one of our cake circles, and then we'll open up our push pop here. We're just gonna push the cake right in to our push pop container. It looks like it fits really well. I think I'm gonna have to push it down all the way to the very bottom. Now I'm gonna squirt some of my frosting into my cake pop. Unfortunately, I lost some of the footage of this, 
So eventually it becomes like this where you squirt the cake and then the frosting and then put another piece of cake in and then the frosting and then cake and then the last bit of frosting on top. And then the lid goes on just like this, just in case you wanna store it. Isn't that adorable? That was really super easy. Let me make the pink frosting one next. This is absolutely adorable. Oh, I hope it tastes as good as it looks. I also made a purple frosting one. I combined both the pink and the blue together and it came out with this awesome purple looking frosting. All right guys, so I have here pink, purple, and blue. I believe they're all the same flavor. So let's go ahead and I'll eat the pink one since it matches my sweatshirt I'm wearing today. Oh, it smells delicious. Oh, look how cute this is. Whoop. <laughs> That's adorable. Okay, let's see. moist <laughs> I hate saying that word than a regular cake but it tastes very vanilla-y the frosting has a nice sugar taste to it and the cake is not so sweet so they kind of work with each other mmm oh mmm mm. actually mm. I definitely like it I think this is one of the better yummy nummies that they have out there Hmm. Actually, I think this is pretty good. These are reusable so that when you eat your push pop, you can go ahead and just wash it in the sink and then make another one. And I definitely like this set. There was a lot of powder left over so I can make a ton more of these. And I thought the flavor of these was pretty good. The frosting was not too sweet. The cake was probably a little bit on the moist side for me, but overall I thought it was an excellent product. Who knew? Well, thank you guys so much for watching today. I super appreciate it. If you're not one of my subscribers, please go ahead and subscribe. I would totally appreciate it. Again, thank you guys so, so much. I'll see you in the next video.